Okay, this is my completely finalized um, Proline Silverado body for the Revo 3.3. It's completely chrome. I have um, custom headlights with light buckets you won't find anywhere else. They do not make light buckets for the Silverado. And um, a custom made um, uh, LED ridden light bar from uh, I think it's HPI that I put in there with a custom switch in the back. Nicely fabricated and very, very clean as you can see. There's no dirtiness around the light switch it came out perfect now you'll also see um, the reflection from this paint job is unbelievable it really came out like mirror as you can see and that's the entire body of paint like that um, as you can see the reflection from the wires and the hood I mean everything just came out amazing um, look at my previous installments my previous videos that I made from this um, there is a certain way you do have to put down chrome paint or else it will come out like silver or like crap um, so follow the instructions that I gave you guys. Um, since the last installment, I added a couple stickers. Um, I also added the decals and whatnot. Um, as you can see, actually I don't know if you can see, um, the custom light buckets that I um, I have in there, I'll turn the body around so you can see, are actually from a, uh, um, a Proline Skyline GTR um, body. They're the front light buckets to that body. I painted one last year, didn't really like it. Um, also, highly recommended... Um, Make sure you have these foam pads that go around the um, the shock towers, or I'm sorry, the body the body mount towers, um, because if you don't, um, especially on a body like this that's so many um, layers. I mean, this one's six layers. Whenever you um, whenever you flip the truck, uh, all the power gets distributed and relayed through this area right here. Okay, and um, constant pressure on that will have the uh, it will make the paint crack in that area and it'll just look like shit so especially when you put this much time and money into something um have those foam pads so like two dollars at your local hobby shop um now this is the wiring that i did as you can see there's my switch um here is my nine volt battery that powers both the um, light bar and the headlights. Now, what I had to do was use, um, uh, I had to splice a lot of the wires and uh, all, relay all of them to the positive and neutral for um, the, this battery, which is very simple. I mean, get some electrical tape, get some, um, get get um, a pair of pliers that can splice. And um, there's a couple things you could actually get at AutoZone. They're like these little tubular things. I think I have one right here. Um, it's this guy right here. I don't know if you can see it, um, but wires go on each end, and then you crimp them, and um, it'll relay the power from one side to the other. And um, they're excellent, excellent, excellent. Especially when you, if you're somebody who wants to look into making your own LEDs and whatnot, and wiring them to batteries, it's so simple. You can make something that you could find online for thirty bucks yourself for like four dollars. So look it up online now. Um, I'll get back to the headlights now. These are five millimeter. I think they're 5 watt. I'm not sure, but they are the brightest ones you could get online. The brightest ones that I could find, at least. Um, and now let me turn my headlights on. If I flip this switch right here, as you can see. Flip the switch. A nice ambient blue light. They're kind of uh, reminiscent of um, 12,000 KHIDs. I um, actually have the same ones on my truck. They're just purple. Um... As you can see, they look absolutely brilliant. Now, with the chrome like this and the blue, it just it, it came out excellent. Um, that's about it. I mean, there's really nothing else to show. I'm probably not going to run this at the races. Um, my local hobby shop has races on Sunday. I'm probably just going to keep it, like, you know, mounted up in my bedroom or something um, until my fiance tells me to throw it out. But, uh, Aside from that, that's it. If you have any questions on light buckets or paint or drying procedures or wiring or LEDs or anything, where to get quality parts, um, I've been around the block a few times, so just message me, let me know. Um, but aside from that, always follow my instructions when it comes to chrome paint because it's a... Uh, it's an animal in and of itself, um, completely different from any other kind of pearlescent or, or metallic paint. You really have to give it attention while, you're, while it's drying. Aside from that, I'm blabbering on. I had a, a cocaine drink today, and um, I'm a little wired. So that's basically it. I'll give you some round shots of the vehicle. And uh, I also will be selling this on eBay. Um, it's uh, 
I believe it's February 16th right now, 2011. Um, I'll be posting this on eBay sometime next week. So probably closer to the, between the 20th and the 26th is when I have vacation. So that, that's when I'll post it up on eBay. I'm probably going to start it for about 50 bucks bidding. Um, so if you guys want to check it out on eBay, my eBay store is under Muscle Ammo 69 It's the same name as my, uh, my YouTube account. So uh, let me know. All right, guys? And that's pretty much it. Again, any questions, just let me know. My name is Josh. All right? Peace out.